Hello, in the last episode we started to place objects. In this episode we're going to use hard points and uh, that will allow us to place the objects with much more finesse. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to first law, first off, our very first step is to disable any time we want to place it and we can't find a decent place to place it. So here in cursor we need to have a new uh, bool uh, can be placed. And then we do raycast hit, hit. And we say if hit.transform.name does not equal terrain, return false. Actually, we'll say if it equals terrain, return true. Otherwise, we return false. And is our terrain called terrain? It is. Um, but we haven't actually worked that in, have we? So if can be placed hit return so right now we say if you can't place it don't place it so we can place it as long as we put it on the terrain but once we try and put it on top of something else we can't and this is invaluable because what this means is that we're going to be using uh, uh, hard points to link these things up like this in order to do that however we're going to need to have hard points um, now this doesn't completely solve our overlap problem. As you can see, we have a system, a situation where we can largely overlap, but it still have it valid. Uh, the hard point, however, will fix that because we will be doing raycasts from the hard points. So here in thing we place, we're going to go ahead and make this into an object that has two hard points, one on each side. So we need to have a hard point object. Here we go, a cube. and we'll put that on the thing we place and we will move it to here uh, we're going to go ahead and use that material we created specifically for hard points and we're also going to resize it so that it's the right size like so uh, then we're going to create a second one and we're going to move it to the other side but one of the things we're going to do is we're going to rotate it 180 and the reason for that is because hard points face a specific direction and we want them to snap together only when the correct hard points are pointed in the correct spots. Alright, so we're going to need a new script for this. I think I may have spelled that wrong. Oh, that's not what I wanted it on. You, go on the thing we place. Uh, so now we have a new script called placeable object and the only thing placeable object does is store a list of hard points. Oh. I guess we don't actually need a list. So we go and we add these to it. Alright, easy enough, right? So we go back into our camera or cursor here and you see how we're doing a raycast based on the mouse position what we actually want to do is raycast based on the um, uh, on the hard points so let's go ahead and do that instead and the way we do that is that we cycle through all of the various hard points Let me just make a little noise there, uh, just for you. All right, so let me do for int a equals zero a is less than po dot hard points dot length a plus plus. I always get those. No, uh, haven't had school in ages. All right, so let me do ray equals. So here is the crux here. Uh, here is the crux here. What a terrible way to say it. Uh, we don't use input.mouse position. Instead, we use the object to places. Uh, we use we use the position, the screen position of the hard point. So we need to go ahead and say vector three screen position of hard point equals uh, camera.main.world to screen. 
and then we just do po.hardpointsa.transform.position. So that says take the position of our hardpoint, cast it to our screen. Now that we have that, cast our cast that point into a ray. So what we've just basically said is that all of our hardpoints are mouse cursors, and instead of using our mouse cursor, uh, we're going to use our hardpoints mouse cursor. Now we still may end up using our mouse cursor. Um, to the extent where I kind of feel stupid for deleting all that stuff because we were probably going to need it. So let's go ahead and... So we're actually going to go ahead and change it up so that we have the hit update does the placement catching whereas the mouse cursor alone will place it if there's nothing allowed to be placed. Um, to say that again, uh, uh, the hard points will determine whether or not the hard points snap together. But we still need it so that when we put our mouse somewhere, the object gets hovered there. So we're going to first uh, set this up like so. And then we're going to do all this stuff. Um, however, our hit update needs to ha be modified quite a bit uh, to include to include the hard point. Now, what I just did uh, might have seemed a little bit confusing, so let me just walk you through it real fast again here, or slightly slower. Uh, first we cast from the mouse and we put the object wherever the mouse happens to hit. But that's not a guarantee that that location will be valid. So then we go through all of the hard points and we cast from each of the hard points as if they were the mouse cursor. And we'll, what we'll do is here in hit update we will test to see whether or not uh, they are hard points hitting hard points and therefore should override our default location and be ready to snap in. Um, we also need to do this. Uh, and that needs to be separate because the, the logic involved is so radically different. The good news is that this doesn't need to be here anymore. Um, this will be entirely about whether or not the raycast hit the raycast hit, so... Sorry, there's two different pieces of logic operating here, and that's why it's getting a little confusing. One of the pieces of logic is that um, uh, one of the pieces of logic is that we can place it on the ground. The other piece of logic is that we need to have hard points that hit that that connect up. So what I've just done is I've separated them out. So this is the part where we connect with the ground, and this is the part where we connect with hard points. So down here we're going to go ahead and take a look and see whether or not the raycast hit and the hard point match up nicely. So we just say if hit dot transform dot name equals hard point oh, it does not equal hard point return false. So if our hard point has been cast onto something that isn't a hard point, it doesn't count. However, if our hard point has been cast into something that is a hard point, then we need to move it, uh, re uh, sorry, just return, then we need to move the object such that those hard points match up just fine. And the way we need to do that is we need to make sure that the two hard points collide nicely with each other. Um, say uh, 
Actually, we know what the hardpoint's parent is. The hardpoint's parent which needs to be our um, our object here. There we are. So then we say object to place dot transform dot position equals hit dot point plus delta. And we don't have to check and see whether it can be well. We do have to check and see whether it can be placed, but we should do that beforehand. So we'll just go ahead and delete this, all this stuff for now. Right now, if a hard point hits a hard point, it can be placed even if it doesn't match up properly. Whew. Let's go ahead and see whether that worked. It didn't. Zoom! It flew away. Oh, okay. Um... There are two problems with this. Ignore Raycast is on, so what's the issue here? Okay. So now what the problem is that we don't change the layer on the subsequent objects. So we've got these hard points are still on ignore raycast. So when we place these, we need to actually place them such that not only do we change the layer that the placed object is on, but we also change the layer that all of its hard points are on. Actually, I'm hoping. No, there's no. Uh, I was hoping there was some kind of recursive layer set, but apparently there's not. Alright, so you can see it how it snaps in, but then it immediately breaks. And that's because I think we're adding when we should be subtracting, or vice versa. Um, hmm. It doesn't appear to be triggering at all. Oh, it's still in layer zero. What's going on? Why is it still in layer zero? I mean, it's still in layer right, cast ignore, rather. It should be on layer zero. Oh, wait. Is this one of those annoying things where you can't edit the array? the correct hard points. Let's go ahead and manually change them. Alright, well the collision works when they do get enabled correctly. But for some reason, whereas this worked fine... Oh, because it's a transform, isn't it? No, wait, because it's not...
Let me take a look. All right, so that logic apparently doesn't work. For some reason, the layers don't get changed. Uh, I think it might be because when you instantiate something, the sub-objects may not initially be fully instantiated. I'm not entirely sure how that works or whether that's the case, uh, but I do know that this doesn't work. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to go into here, into placeable object, and we're going to have a public uh, I uh, make concrete. So, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually introduce a little bit of a delay. Um, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to say uh, is concrete equals concrete and dirty equals true. And then here at update I'm going to say if dirty equals true, dirty equals false. And then I'm going to do all that layer setting here. So uh, int target layer equals zero if not is concrete target layer equals 2, and then we just say layer uh, game object dot layer equals target layer, and then we do for int a equals 0, a is less than hard points dot length, a plus plus, hard points a dot layer equals target layer. So this basically is what we should have done in the first place. We make the object responsible for how it gets concreted into the scene. That's going to be useful later for when we have objects that are reactive, but for now that's okay. Uh, as it is, all we need to do is like so. And I don't actually know whether or not that fixes it. No, it doesn't. What's going on? Annoying. Look, it is concrete isn't even set properly. This is probably something really dumb. Yeah, it was something really dumb. And I went and I changed a bunch of stuff to try and track it down. But the problem is that we have two instantiate functions. We've got the one where we place it on the ground and the one where we place it on the hard points. The one where we place it on the hard points was working fine. But the one where we place it on the ground wasn't. Oh man, I feel stupid. So to take you through the changes that I just made, um, I changed this object from a game object into a placeable object because I thought maybe the problem was in the game object instantiation. Uh, but it wasn't. It was just in my code. As usual, 99.99% .99 of the things that don't work are your fault uh, as a programmer. And that was true here too. Um, but basically, all of the object to place references I had that were game objects are now placeable objects. So that changes some of the stuff around. Um, a little bit, but it's just a minor semantic change. It's not a uh, it's not any kind of functional change that makes a difference. Um, so now when we go back into the scene, we can actually change this out here. We don't need to do this dirty crap. Just put it all here, like so. Alright, so just simplified placeable object because we no longer need to worry about it updating properly or any of that. That was just a wild guess. That was wrong. So we place it. 
and then you can see how in the bottom part of the screen we're getting the hardpoint hits that we want. But it's not locking, it's not snapping together. Um, we'll, we'll snap together next time. Uh, this time we have the problem where I spent 10 minutes um, screwing up, so I'm not going to make you watch another 10 minutes of me trying to do something else.